Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the pre-stream. As people are joining the stream, I welcome you. This is Phil and it is Saturday, February 27th, 2016. It's the weekend, which is a good thing for many people, right? For others, not so much. For some people, the weekend is a big time of relaxation. It's your time off from school or work. Uh, for others, <clears throat> unfortunately, it is uh, just another day. For a lot of people, actually, because uh, some people have jobs and stuff that they work on the weekends. Which, it is what it is, right? Uh, I certainly have been on both sides of the fence. You know, being a student or having an office job versus, you know, doing what I do now. And I also worked in the fast food industry for a while. I worked retail for a while. So I've seen... I've been in both situations where, uh, you know, the weekend could be a big relaxing thing or the weekend is pretty much just another day. Right now it's kind of a mix because I still uh, do stuff on Saturday for the business, but at the same time, uh, Saturday is the day when I take a little bit of time out to do something with my girlfriend. We go to dinner and uh, then we do errands. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, ladies and gents. That is, uh, that is the, the ode, the ballad of the weekend. <laughs> so hopefully you're doing alright. Today we're going to be doing Far Cry Primal on stream. Uh, it took a little bit longer than usual to get the stream working for whatever reason, but it is working now. And uh, looking forward to another three to three and a half hours of gameplay here. So... Uh, just so you know, FYI, I've heard that this game could take up to 30 hours to beat if you do everything. And if you look at previous Far Cry games, that is the, definitely the case. These Far Cry games, uh, you know, 3 and 4 have both been very heavy on, on content, on side content. <laughs> to the point where, uh, if you go out and you do everything, all the hunting missions, all the base takeovers, and... All the side questing and yada yada yada. Uh, it'll probably take you around 30 hours to beat. Uh, I'm going to be honest with everyone. Being that most people have really not been tuning into the playthrough. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to move on to other stuff uh, relatively soon. You know, and not to say that I'm not enjoying myself in the game. But I can certainly understand why uh, some people may not be too interested in it. I mean, number one. It's another Far Cry game that literally follows the same formula as the previous two uh, without guns. So, it's pretty much the same. It's kind of funny because I have to say Far Cry Primal, at least in my opinion, seems to fit the formula for this kind of gameplay the most. Like, it's funny because you're gathering herbs and then you use those herbs to make healing items or to do kind of, you know, things to accentuate yourself. And uh, you're gathering all these uh, resources to craft stuff. And in previous Far Cry games, it's kind of like, isn't this the modern day where you just go to the store and buy shit? <laughs> you're sitting here crafting stuff out in the, in the open, right? But uh, in this game, it makes sense. It's prehistoric times. You know what I mean? And uh, prehistoric times mean that there's you can't get those things. There, these things don't exist. You have to craft them for yourself. You can't just go to the store and buy yourself a spear or a sling, right? You have to craft it. So, it makes sense in that regard. Uh, and it does fit the formula. But the problem, I think, is the game has basically been released four times. First, there was Far Cry 3. Then there was Far Cry 4. Then there was Far Cry Blood Dragon. Right? Well, actually, Blood Dragon... Now I can't even remember if Blood Dragon was for 3 or 4. I know it was an expansion. <laughs> I don't even remember. But it's basically all the same formula. You know? And when you're doing the same thing over and over and over, either it's going to be, uh, you know, riveting because it's something that's, like, addictive and fun, or it could be the, quite the opposite. I think, in this case, if you like the gameplay of the previous Far Crys, obviously you're going to like Far Cry Primal. But did they honestly go too crazy? Not really. I mean, the only real new thing they, they did is, number one, they removed the guns. Right? And, number two, they added in the, the beast 
stuff where you can control animals. And that's it, really, when you think about it. Uh, if anything, they took out a lot of the more riveting stuff about the Far Cry series. Like, is there really a charismatic character who you really are into? No, not really. You know, in 3, Far Cry 3, you had Voss. In Far Cry 4, you had the, 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 the villain who I can't remember his freaking name. You know? So, I can understand. I can certainly understand why this game did not uh, get over. It's funny, I'm using wrestling terms. It didn't get over with my viewing audience this week. You know, especially after a week of competitive Street Fighter. And then you move into something like this, where it's kind of like more of the same stuff you've seen. Uh, I understand. I get it. I do. Also, the fact that, you know, they removed the guns, but did they necessarily add anything else into the formula? Not really, you know. Uh, everything in the game is kind of very basic and simple. There's no complexities to the game. It's kind of like just go from point A to point B, mash the buttons to kill things, you know, or or aim for headshots, which seem to be incredibly easy. Uh, it's not it's not exactly the most challenging game. It's more of a a, uh, a a game to keep you busy with the amount of content in it rather than a game to challenge you and add anything to to gaming in general, you know. So, it's funny because, it, here's, here's the funny part, all last week I did my marathon of Street Fighter V, okay, it's all I played last week. During that week, tons of people unsubscribed from DSP Gaming, a lot of people complained, too many fighting game videos, too much stuff coming out with fighting games, fighting games, fighting games, cannot wait for Phil to finish with fighting games and get back to his other stuff. That's what I heard from a large group of people last week. So the week ended, I announced that's it for fighting games, we're going to go back to the normal stuff, and uh, no one really cared. <laughs> the games that came out, you know, Players vs. Zombies I think is one of the most fun games I've played in a while. I love the game, just like I love Part 1, I love Part 2. <sighs> they really expanded upon it with six new characters, uh, new game modes, all kinds of stuff to explore and have fun. You know, I did a co-op stream with, with my girlfriend Leanna yesterday in the game, loved it. And, uh, you know, unfortunately my viewing audience doesn't really care. Not to say the game's bad, right? Just, it's Apparently, it's not riveting. It's not something that's that's gripping people. It's funny because, I swear, sometimes things that I love, people don't like to watch, and then vice versa. Like, I'll be honest, last year, 2015, one of the biggest things that I did that got very popular and everyone loved was Until Dawn. And not to say I didn't like the game, but I had no clue that game was going to catch on and people would like to watch my playthrough of it. Like... I, I approached it as a game that I didn't do much research on at all, didn't know much about it, played it blind, just did my own thing, improv, commentary, whatever, had fun with it, and by the end of the, day, the week, people were going crazy for this playthrough. They were like, this is one of the best things Phil's ever done, tons of views, very popular. Now we have a week where it's like two games, Far Cry, I liked the previous two Far Cry games, right? Plays vs. Zombies, loved the original, I'm playing them, I'm loving them, so I'm having crazy fun with these two games. And no one really cares. It's kind of the the, the flip, you know. <clears throat> and I don't know. I don't. I, I I guess it just you get peaks and valleys. You know what I mean. And and not to say that I'm disappointed or whatever. I mean, coming up, we've got a, a bunch of new stuff in March. Like we've got Zelda, we've got Hitman, uh, UFC two, MLB. We're gonna have uh, the Patron's Choice playthrough, whatever that's gonna be. There's a possibility we may be doing another marathon. I don't know because we haven't hit the goal level and. Haven't really seen much activity on Patreon, but I'll talk about that in a, in a second. That's another issue entirely. <clears throat> in April, we're going to have some huge stuff. Quantum Break, Dark Souls 3, uh, Star Fox, Uncharted. April's huge, right? April's going to be absolutely crazy compared to pretty much all the other months of the year. I think April is the heavy-loaded release month for this year. So, And then, of course, there's going to be some pretty good stuff in May, too, but... So there is good stuff coming up that I think, you know, will catch on with a viewing audience, but it kind of sucks because what am I going to do? I don't have much else to do right now. Uh, I could easily go back to Street Fighter, but the thing is, I'm kind of already engrossed in these playthroughs. You know, Far Cry Primal, I've played over 10 hours already. I certainly, I'm not going to just drop the damn thing. <laughs> you, you know, I have to do what I can. And it's funny because here we are, we're about to start a gameplay stream. And typically for a new game, even several days after, 
you know, you get decent attendance. We got very low attendance on the stream today, too. I guess people just don't care about this, you know? Oh, well. I kind of shrug, and I'm like, well, I gotta keep moving forward. <clears throat> Nothing I can do about it. So, everyone. I thank you, for those of you who are here live on stream, I do thank you for your attendance. I hope to at least try to entertain you as much as I can with the game. Um, I was talking to the, the people in stream chat earlier. And basically, here's the deal. Uh, since this playthrough has not caught on, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna beat the game, but I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can. And what I mean by that is, no, I'm not going to be going out and doing all the optional content in the game. Uh, you know, because if, if, if people really want to see me do other stuff, I'll do it. Plus, the, the, the bottom line is, I'm... I would love to do more Street Fighter. Like, I'm craving it. I played Street Fighter like crazy last week. And, uh... And then they went ahead... <clears throat> people went ahead... And... Excuse me. People went ahead. What am I talking about? I played Street Fighter all last week. I got, I got distracted there for a second. <laughs> I played Street Fighter all last week. I had a lot of fun with it. And then Capcom changed the net code... So that it would match you with better people... Which I didn't even realize because I was trying to learn new characters. Uh, I got my ass whooped trying to play with these new characters. So then I finally switched over to the characters I've been playing all week. I did much better. It was a good, a good challenge. And uh, and then they fucking decided to do maintenance on the final day I was supposed to play the game, and I couldn't play it. So really, I never got my final dose of Street Fighter like I wanted. And I am kind of craving playing more of it. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to flood the channel again and say, "Oh, here we go, Street Fighter's back," even though. You know, the, the Street Fighter week's over. So it's kind of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm going to do my best to get through the game here. I'm not going to take my... I'm not going to go crazy with the side content. We ended up in the last stream in a Sabertooth hunt. And uh, I got destroyed by the Sabertooth because the controls of the game were absolutely terrible inside of the Sabertooth's cave. Trying to run from this stupid thing. Platforming was not working, which is, always was apparent in these Far Cry games that the, the parkour and platforming kind of works uh, if you take your time, but if you try to rush through it, it doesn't work half the time. And I'm trying to jump, trying to climb, jumping in place like an idiot. He's not grappling the, the freaking ledges. He's getting bitten in the ass. And uh, I died, but hopefully we can finish that off, and then I'm going to just try to, try to advance with the story <clears throat> and, uh, and, you know, get it in the, in the history book so we can move on to other stuff. There will be Street Fighter this week. I, I'm going to probably do Street Fighter Tuesday. Because uh, I'm thinking Far Cry today. I want to kind of do my final session of Plants vs. Zombies tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is try to finish up the... There's a story that I'm doing. So I want to finish up the zombie story. Then I want to go to the plants, do the plant story. And then maybe do some final multiplayer. Because I, I basically want to finish it in that regard so I can review it on Monday. So I have to finish up that content so I can, I can fully review it uh, come Monday. So that's kind of the plan. Um, what else is going on? Well, the month is almost over. Uh, we have three days left. Today, tomorrow, and it is leap year. I don't know how many of you know this. It is leap year, which means there's an extra day in February. So, uh, you got three more days left of February. Uh, that means you only have around two and a half days left to pledge to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. I'm going to be honest with everyone here. I'm a little worried because I've not seen any pledge activity in a while. Uh, and it's fine. I mean, there's tons of people who are pledged already who have, like, recurring pledges. So certainly it's not that I'm like, you know, oh, you know, no one's pledging. That's not the case at all. But we haven't seen any new pledges in a while, and uh, we have not hit the goal for the month. There were a few people who did larger pledges last month, and they reduced their pledges for this month. And uh, we're short. I tweeted about this last night. At least from what, from what the, uh, you know, the page is showing me. And which is not 100% accurate. It says we're $55 short of the, the goal. Okay. Now, in a year's time, this is actually the one year anniversary of me doing Patreon. We have always hit the goal. Every month. We've hit the goal and we've had the goal reward, uh, you know, reached. And uh, I'm wondering what's going on. I don't know if it's just because there's nothing going on right now with gaming this week. So people aren't really tuning in. And so they don't really care about Patreon either. But, you know, this is a big part of my business. This is a, th a reason that I'm still able to do this full time. And, uh, you know, it really is the reason that 
you know, I'm still able to, to do daily streams, do these videos. The, the reason that I'm doing this three channel formula this year and people are liking the increase in vlogging and the edited videos. So it's a big part of my business and I need to support. You know, I wouldn't bring it up if I didn't. So if you haven't yet, check out patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Hopefully, in the next couple days, we will get some pledges and we'll hit the goal. And, the, you know, the reward this month is a good one. It's uh, the continuation of a platforming kind of event that I've done many times last year that people enjoyed. You know, last year I did Crash Bandicoot 1, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. If we do hit the funding level for this month, uh, I will be doing this again, and it'll be again in the hands of those who pledged to determine if I'm going to finish up Conquer, or I'll be doing Crash 3, or I'll be doing Banjo-Kazooie. So... Think about it. If you like the, the daily streams, you're enjoying them. You like the, the videos on demand on YouTube. This is your cup of tea. You're like, wow, this is entertaining. I like what Phil's doing this year, the vlogging and everything. Consider pledging to Patreon. Two and a half days left, okay? Now, in addition to that, today is actually an, a momentous occasion, ladies and gents. You might not know this. For today is the one-year anniversary of my girlfriend Leanna's business, The Black Current. It was one year ago when she opened up her soap making business. And in that year, she's had over 150 sales, sold hundreds and hundreds of items. Successful, especially for a business startup. Pretty successful. You know, she's it's in a market that has a lot of competition. If you actually, you know, check out these people who do handcrafted stuff on the internet, it's pretty a pretty... Uh, you know, heated competition between these businesses is already people who are established in the market. So, you know, pretty entertaining, pretty entertaining, pretty exciting is what I meant to say, that in one year's time, she's able to get a customer base that likes what she does and, you know, many repeat customers all around the world. She ships to, you know, many international countries outside of the United States. She's expanded, just in the one year she's been in operation, she's expanded uh, from being just being able to ship to the US to now the UK and you know so wait, do you ship to uh South America? Not yet. No. Some that's the one place you don't, right? Some of the countries have really uh, specific restrictions right. on what you can ship. Right. But I did ship to Sweden recently. Sweden, yeah, all kinds of different places in Europe she's been shipping to, which is pretty good. And uh I think Canada as well, or has been Can a couple Canada, Canadian Mexico, customers. Australia and a lot of Europe and Japan. In Japan, wow. Yeah, because they have the same they have the same limits as uh, most European countries. Yeah. So. yeah, and you know, with all the stuff that she sells, she gets positive feedback. If you check it out, you know, online her shop, you'll see nothing but positive feedback. So check it out at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current spelled C U R R A N T. And I've been hitting about this all week. It's in in celebration of the one year anniversary of the business. There's a special discount code. Which you can use. The code is one year twenty. The word one, the word year, and the number twenty. So O N E Y E A R two zero. If you use that code for any order over twenty five bucks, you will save twenty percent. Actually, it's not over. I think it's twenty five bucks or above. Yep. You'll save twenty percent. It's a pretty big discount. Mm -hmm. One person already did take advantage. Yep. So check it out. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. And, uh, and there's a special item in the shop now. That's right, there is a special, uh, birthday. Wax tart melt. Mm -hmm. It's a limited edition that actually looks like birthday cake and smells really good. Mm -hmm. So definitely check it out. And, uh, you know, it's good stuff. A lot of people say, oh, soap. Why, why would I want that? Well, it's much better than the stuff you buy in the store. Higher quality, better for you, healthier for you. And in addition to all of that, uh, you know, you're supporting a small business, right? A small business that, uh, you know, has been pretty successful. And obviously, you know, it's not just for, for, for chicks. Like, oh, soap is for girls. No, most people who have actually bought it were males. If you actually check out the customer base. Today's order was from a guy. Yeah, it's a lot of viewers and fans of ours who have tried out this stuff. They're like, holy shit, this is actually good. You know? So check it out. Alright, what else? Not much else to talk about. I want to get started here. 
Uh, with gameplay, like I said, I want to try to get through the game as, as quickly as I can. Uh, being that, quite honestly, not a lot of people are too interested in it anymore. Ah. Later today, there will be a new DSP Tries It. Oh, this is an exciting one. I should have mentioned this. An exciting DSP Tries It. There's actually a product that is being tested locally in our market. A lot of times when there is a uh, a larger uh, restaurant chain and stuff like that, they will test different new new offerings in in markets. And our northwestern Washington, like northwestern United States, Washington State, is a market where they're testing these new things. And we tried them this week, and it was actually really interesting. Let's put it that way. So this is going to be on the new DSP tries it today. So you definitely check that out later today. I'm going to actually upload that as soon as the stream's over. Over on the King of Hate vlogs. That's going to be a good one. Last night on the King of Hate vlogs, speaking of which, I, I actually uh, put out a video about fair use on YouTube. And how YouTube's copyright system is completely broken. Uh, the hashtag WTFU movement that has grown huge on YouTube over the past week. Enough people finally contacted me and said, Phil, will you please speak out and, and share your experience? We know that you talk about it all the time when it happens, but could you kind of make a summation video about your YouTube uh, copyright issues? So I did. And uh, apparently it's pretty good, pretty popular. People are enjoying it. Uh, I got lots of messages about it. Lots of people were liking it and, you know, tweeting about it last night. So that's good, and uh, certainly I, I thank you if you did check it out and you're spreading the word about the fair use on YouTube and how abusive it is and how broken the copyright system is. The bottom line is we've all known this for a long time. The problem is we're kind of powerless. You know, one of the major points I make in the video is that honestly I don't think we could do anything about it. I've been talking about how broken YouTube's copyright system is for seven plus years, but I'm not rich, so I can't sue them. And if someone actually does step up and sue YouTube, and say enough is enough, you've, you've hurt our business greatly because uh, you gave us false copyright strikes or you know you allowed someone to abuse your copyright system which is uh, you know really phony and automated and insufficient and you've hurt us this much monetarily and we're suing you for that, YouTube will probably fix it. But the problem is no one's done that, no one has the balls. Because everyone's afraid that they're going to get shut down on YouTube and let's face it, YouTube is the big guy youtube is the the big fish the it's kind of like how wwe is the big wrestling leagues sure there's little indies but if you go wrestle in the indies you barely make any money go to the wwe you become filthy rich it's kind of the same deal with youtube youtube you go there you know you're going to get viewership if you have something that's entertaining so it is what it is anyway check out the video it's live on the king of hate vlogs and uh thank you if you have checked it out already I guess that's enough gabbing from me. Let's get started with gameplay, shall we? Let's jump back into Far Cry Primal and try to kill this this stupid saber tooth. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Let us begin. Thank you very much. And it is time for Far Cry Primal. Sound good? Fair enough? Alright. Let's get started. 